Hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver, and welcome back to It's a Baseball. I don't know why I wanted to say that, it was just stuck in my head. The, um, ow, oh, it's a baseball. I, I guess I saw the Jaguar color palette, and then I remembered that scene, and then I just started thinking about it, and now we're here. So, I am just bing and or chillin' today. But we're still deciding on that part. Now, what character do I want to play? I'm kind of thinking of, I'm kind of thinking of Moriko run. I don't think we've done one in a hot minute, so I think it could be fun. We could go Seventh Curse, we could go Hunted by the Cult, we could go Knight Errant, we could go Scars, we could go any of these stupid things. I don't really want to do any of them. Let's do Fatalist. Moriko, Fatalism, and does she have a Glock and a Rari? Well, that's a trick question because she doesn't have a Rari. Uh, she's got a shotgun, though. We're still trying to get back to you on the Glock. We'll, we'll, later on in the timeline, I'll tell you if she has a Glock or not. Mm. What old god? I don't really know, to be honest with you. I'm thinking we don't run. We don't run away from these things. We're gonna we're gonna go in there. We're we're, we're the Doom Slayer. We gotta kill all the enemies before we progress to the next room. Okay, that's that's the kind of existence that Moriko wants to live right now, and it's the kind of existence that I think is pretty fun. So what are we gonna do today as far as town goes? I don't know. I don't know. I think we can probably just run it pretty stock standard. I don't think we need the illegal den. I wonder how much ex how much does extra ammo cost? Like, is it a genuine tech option if you have seventh curse? I have no idea. So, what's up with me? What's up with you? Why are you always asking me how I'm doing? Why do you always want me to give you anecdotes, huh? It's pretty one way, uh, one sided. Uh, one-sided thing going on here. How about you tell me about your day, huh? In the comments down below. <laughs> I had a pretty uneventful day, you know? Just kind of chilling. Nothing uh, particularly strange went on. Although, I will say, I'm kind of on an arc right now. An IRL arc right now. You see... How do I put this? I had, there was an event that I wanted to go to that was in the early evening and I was planning on it and I was thinking about going to it. Ooh, little school scissors, huh? And I was thinking about it, I was planning on going to it and in the like late day, I just, made the mistake of lying down and then I was conked out for like like a few hours and I woke up after it was already over and I felt really bad and I was thinking about it like it's pretty normal for me to be tired during the day like basically my whole life you know like during the day I'm tired and during the night I'm awake and it sucks because it's like I, um, you know, it, it sucks because it's like you're trying to go to bed at night, but it just doesn't work. You know, you're trying to, to do this. You're trying to do that. And it just, it just never works out. <sighs> Troll doll hanging from the ceiling, not who I wanted to see today. And I was, I was really thinking about it because I always thought that I had insomnia, right? But the thing is, I, I, it's so easy for me to fall asleep, like, during the day. Like, if I'm not, if I'm not careful... If I'm in a comfortable position, I can just I, I can just snooze during the day, like all day, every day. And it always bothered me because I thought there was like, you know, I was weird or whatever. Or like, I never really, like, I, I just assumed that I was doing something wrong. But I was, I remembered a friend of mine, she was talking about how she got a sleep study done. For like a condition that she had and so I was like all right let's I, I I wanted to look into a sleep study and when I was looking at a sleep study they had like you know this is the they had all these things like all these conditions and one of them was oh do I want to throw the 
Nah, nah, nah. As long as we hit this, like, it, we don't have to throw the wooden bat. As long as we hit this. And so, like, I was looking at the, the list of the conditions, and one of them was, like, falls asleep. Like, you, you fall asleep really easily during the day, and you, like, have difficulty sleeping during the night. And I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This puts, like, my entire life into context. And, it, like, it actually I started freaking out a little bit. I started freaking out a little bit because it's like it's so easy to stay awake during night, dude. It's so easy. Like I I can be on like no sleep and during the night I'm like fine. But then the moment the sun starts rising, I'm like me 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 me. I I don't know what it is, but like I only take naps like in the early evening or during the day. Or in the morning, like I can take a nap during the morning, but you you don't really have an opportunity to do that very often. But like during the night, I cannot sleep, bro. I'll be staring at the ceiling for hours. And I always thought that was insomnia. I always thought that that was insomnia, but it might not actually be. And so I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a little a little test on the weekend to see how I feel because. Like, it, it, it's kind of crazy, like, just how you can have, like, a perpetual issue throughout your entire life that genuinely negatively affects you, and then you just read, like, a random web page one day, and it gives you, like, the definition of a medical condition, and you're like, holy shit. <laughs> you're just like, no. No way. Uh, how much damage is this wooden back going to do when I throw it? Perfect. Beautiful. Take minus one to all, then we prep the shot, and we feel pretty good about it. But, like, it's, it's legitimately crazy. Like, I want to get a sleep study done now. Because I, I don't think you should self-diagnose yourself for stuff like this. But I do think, like, just reading it and then, like, your entire life suddenly makes sense is so absolutely batshit insane that that can just happen you know like uh, that can just happen like you're like oh i do have a really hard time falling asleep at night and it's really easy for me to fall asleep during the day to where i unintentionally fall asleep during the day all the time and that's negatively affected my life huh that's pretty crazy isn't it pretty wacky huh pretty wacky and or wild that you that, that can just happen like you can read the definition for a sleep disorder and be like oh huh. huh yeah no that, that, that makes sense I, I wouldn't be surprised and so I'm, I'm gonna do a little test I, i'm gonna completely flip my schedule on the weekend and it could it could screw my sleep schedule up but to be honest with you lunacid's already done that enough but like i'm gonna i'm gonna see i'm gonna see if uh i'm, I'm gonna see how it happens because I think that, like, it just makes sense. And so on, it, on the uh, on the weekend, what I'm going to do, actually, probably Friday, probably Friday, I'm going to, like, go to bed during the day, and then I'm going to, like, wake up when the sun's going down. And then I'm just going to stay up all night on Friday and then go to bed when the sun comes up and then wake up again, and I'm going to see how I feel. Because, like genuinely when i'm awake during the day like I, I always thought it was something like i was like a slow to start the day kind of person you know like i wake up and then i have to like just be awake for a, a few hours to kind of get like energy but like no because it takes me a long time to get energy and i just feel miserable throughout the entire day and then during the night when you're supposed to go to sleep that's when i'm feeling good and i want to do things that's when i get like and I mean, that's when I get most things done anyways. And I remember like a while back, I had a, um, I had a QA thing at a, at a very small company and they didn't actually care when I worked as long as I did it before like the next patch came out or like the next build. It wasn't a patch, it was a build. It was an internal build. <clears throat> Getting my terminology correct basically the same thing though right like we're working on version 1.01 .01 here it would be like there would be like a version 1.02 beta or alpha or something like that and then it would go to version 1.2 and then that would have like new stuff to test in it etc etc 
But, like, when I was working for them, it was so, like, it was VR, so it kind of sucked. But just because you wear a virtual reality helmet for way too long, and it's like you just feel really bad about it. Like, you just, like, your neck hurts. Because you're only supposed to wear that shit for like 30 minutes, but you know, you obviously have to... You got hours and hours and hours every day on that thing. Um, and which is why I don't do VR now. Like, I I, I just... I, I got my fill of VR, doing VR QA. But um, they didn't really care when I worked as long as I got everything done before the next patch. Or build. Build. I need to use the correct terminology. Uh, but the thing is, I so I, I I worked in the in the AM. You know, I, I I would start at like midnight, and I would go to like six AM, or like seven AM. Actually, no, I'd probably start at like ten, and then go to like six or seven. But um, you know, I would do that, and like that's that was way easier than starting at like nine or ten and then going to like five or six like that was way easier and it's just like it's kind of crazy honestly now that i'm just thinking about it like i'm just kind of going through internally uh yeah you're, you're you're done tapeworm salary man you're fired get it because we shot him with a gun and that's firing a bullet out of the yeah whatever it's a shell it's a shell ah! anyways like i'm just thinking about it and i'm going through like I'm just kind of going in, I, I, this is a horrible video, because I'm just kind of, like, internally going through my life. Like, I'm just having, like, a flashback episode, and I'm just thinking, like, yeah, no, this all, this all makes sense. I don't know how you get a sleep study, but I want one, because that just sounds like, it just, it just makes a lot of sense, you know? It just, it just puts a lot of things into place. Maybe I should have gone for the bullets, just because, like, we've been using them quite a bit. Because we can't run away, so we get into a bad fight, we're kind of screwed. Patina ring? I mean, we might as well wear it. It's not doing us any wrong right now. But yeah, no, it's kind of wild, isn't it? It's kind of funny to think about. Oh, painting, huh? Alright. Well, I'm da I'm down to get, a, to get a light source. I'm down to get plus one perception. I'm okay with that. I think we just have to go ahead and send that to hell immediately because our doom is doing pretty good. Where I mean, our doom's doing fine, honestly. But like, it's it's honestly crazy. Like, I I'm still just going through everything in my head right now. I'm like, yeah, no, that that part of my life makes sense. That part of my life makes sense. That part of my life makes sense. It just all kind of clicks like really, really well. And I have no, I have no idea how you ask for a for a sleep study. I don't even know who you ask. Is, is there like a sleep specialist? Is there like a sleep doctor? Probably. I would assume. I think we do a little injury, right? That's 5% doom. Never mind. That's exactly what I wanted. That's completely okay. Our doom is fantastic right now. We got 30 doom. We got 10 doom per mystery, basically. That's great. And that's after uh, essentially getting vital clued, so I'm completely all right with that. Now, bite. Both of the bites need to be taken care of. The bite of 84. I don't know if that's a FNAF event. I'm not brushed up on my FNAF lore, you know? Kind of kind of weak on my FNAF lore, I'm not going to lie. So here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to cry ourselves to sleep as we retreat from the room. And... I am going to... I mean, this is pretty nice, but there's no time for it, gamer. It's actually just better to do that, because if we can rest without fetid fume... Never mind. It's actually still better, because fetid fumes uh, resting is plus one, plus one. That would be plus zero, plus one. So it's actually still better no matter what, which is kind of funny. We actually could have been at 13 stamina right now if it wasn't for the patina ring, but I don't really care. Violent Vigil, huh? Alright, the order doesn't matter, by the way. Me giving this... Whoa! 27 HP? I should have gone for the bullets. I should have gone for the bullets. This is crazy. Holy crap. Oh no. Oh no. Hold on. What's our dodge? I don't... You can't dodge. You, no, you can't dodge. You gotta full send it here. 
It's over. It's over. GG, well played. GG, well played. Uh, what do you do? What do you, what do you do here? You throw the... No. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What on earth have I done? What on earth have I done? No, you, you, you full send it again. You have to full send it again. Actually, hold on. You want to guarantee... Because then you can make sure that it dies next turn. With a good old-fashioned classic helping of 97% uh, chance, please. Okay, thank god, we're alright. I was gonna throw that flashlight, I was gonna go boomerang. Uh, art, knowledge, sanity, thank you so much. Now, I think we want to fight every enemy here, because we should be able to kill them basically immediately. And we have Doom for days right now, so... I think we're okay to ignore this. And also, if it's something that would take our sanity away, we definitely don't want to. We we definitely don't want to do anything that could take our sanity away. So I, I think we're okay. Uh yeah, we'll we'll just uh we'll just do it. We have 80 more billion doom to mess around with. I should probably get the meat cleaver. Just in case we get uh oh infected wound, that sucks. Oh my god, the uncle's gone! Whoa! Crazy! Okay, you are insanely nasty. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, we, we should be able to do this. This should be fine. Because what we can then do is this, and you're you're done. So everybody's doing 80 more billion. Oh, Holy Glyph's actually kind of... Kind of funky? Kind of built different? Kind of doable? I really wish we could, um... You know, get... Some of this stuff. I mean, that's gonna kill, so I don't, I don't have to worry about it. That's gonna kill. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to worry about it. I don't remember our second enemy or our second mystery, by the way. Probably in two it's something, but... I think it was like school scissors or whatever, but I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. I think we're okay. I would really like for this to be a place in the... I've already taken the money, that's right. I would really like this to be a place in the town to get rid of the infected wound. Uh, mission accomplished. Now, what do I want to get rid of? I mean, we can get rid of the painkiller, that's fine. I don't really care about our charisma. We can get the infected wound gone. And honestly, like, I don't want to play around. Actually, you know what? No, I don't want to play around the patina ring. Get this out of here. Go ahead and hit me with that frostbite. Thank you very much. The school was doomed? That shit's crazy. All right. But we're, we're, we're fine. I, I think we're coasting here. I should have taken the bullets. If you're on Kathako Tarasu, you should take the bullets 100% of the time. The downtown's doomed! I mean, at least it didn't matter, but oh my god. I was just like... I was about to be Sideshow Bob walking into the rake. Like, Jesus Christ. Okay, I hate you. I hate you with a burning passion. I don't think we can do this. I don't think we can... I mean, that's gonna do 20 damage, right? But, like, we would have to throw something. So, we can block, and then we can punch. We can block and punch, and then we can give the gossip junkie the old one-two skedaddle. Alright. Now, this is gonna seem crazy. You might not believe how I'm gonna level up here, but I'm gonna take... Folk... Well, it's too late. We have one enemy who's gonna... We have one enemy who would... We could shoot with the ammo stash, so it doesn't really matter. Actually, maybe it does. Nah, we're, we're gonna do this. We're gonna take uh, knowledge, and then we're gonna take sanity, and, th and there we go! Um, we'll, we'll back out. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. We actually do have to go to the forest twice real quick, because this is a homey bulletin board. Take the Doom. Any option that can give us Doom, we want to take that 100-100. Okay. 
So, we're doing it, chat? Are we doing it? You're goddamn right we're doing it. All right. You're goddamn right we're doing it. When it doesn't kill us, I can do it 100% of the time. When it does kill us, I fail it. I I I I choke. All right, you're you're just going to have to come with me to hell for a moment. We're just going to have to rest up a little bit as a treat. I forgot the downtown was doomed. I'm kind of dumb. I'm kind of dumb. That's fine. I don't really care. Seaside's safe. I mean, I guess we could just move them over to the village just to make this a little bit nicer for, like, the remaining couple of investigations. I just turn around. That's fine. We got 74% doom. Our doom has been, like, flawless this whole game. Oh my god, is that a human bone? No way. So here's the thing. We can either do 8 over 2 turns, or we can do 12. And take two turns worth of damage if we were blocking, right? So, you know, that's just how it is. That's just its look. So now, what are we going to do? We're going to throw... No, 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 no. We're going to block. Going to punch. Let me cook here, chat. Let me cook. We're going to desperation because it's funny. And then we're going to use the sewing kit later. Because if we enter combat with Desperation, that's pretty cool. I'm down with that. Sorry, just looking. Me and just looking Rutsu. All right, that was kind of a weird run. I think we should be relatively fine. We got plenty of Doom to where we can rest up if we need to. And we've got plenty of recovery options as well. So I think we're relative. I think we're relatively going to be fine. I don't even think we need to... Well, I mean, I guess we would take a point of stamina here, because we can take nine. But let's let's go ahead and look at the lighthouse, see what we're dealing with. Uh, minus three, minus three, minus three. Actually, this is two, sorry. Minus three, minus two, or minus three, minus zero. Minus three, minus two, plus five, plus five. Minus six, minus two. So we're, we're okay. We're completely fine. We don't have to heal. Deft handling is going to be pretty fun. And we can just... I mean, we don't... We literally don't have to do anything. So I can just... I can just throw. Excuse me? Excuse me! Thank you. I, I would like to heal for no reason. Like, it just became a principle thing at that point. Like, we don't need to heal, but I want to heal. It's, it's the principle of the matter. We also have a spell that we could forget as well. So we're, we're feeling pretty good about that. So what we can do here that's pretty cool is we can throw this and then just kill him because it's a 100% hit chance. We could probably have killed him anyways. It doesn't really matter. Me and no charisma Rutsu. So true, so fair. I think our second enemy was the Pillar Vampire, for whatever reason, but that's not right, right? So, hold on, Let, let's think of it. Like, we went into... Actually, maybe it was School Scissors first, and then our first enemy would have been, uh... uh yeah, let's do School Scissor Woman. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, I, I if Scissors is our first mystery... Then that means... I think a painting was the second one. Whoops. Doesn't matter. We could have gotten both of them wrong and it still would have been fine. But uh, if Scissors was our first mystery, which I think it was, and we have Maru and Scissor Woman and then two enemies that are outside school Scissors, then Scissor Woman is the, the guarantee lock-in. Because Maru has to come before. And then we have two enemies from what I presumed was the next mystery. So it's probably Violent Vigil second, now that I think about it. So that would have been, um, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Have a good one. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Pokidoku. I mean, we have to do the Pokidoku victory lap, right? We have to. We have to do the Pokidoku victory lap.
Let's play. Oh, uh, next puzzle in two hours. Never mind.